Hi, my name is Bill Hicks. Today I'm going to show you how to change an object's link constraint during an animation in 3ds Max 2013. We'll begin with two animated cylinders and one static sphere that we will link and unlink to each cylinder at different times during the animation. To begin with, we will select the object we want to add our link constraint to. And in the Motions tab, we will open the Assigned Controller panel and select the Transform Track. By pressing the Assigned Controller button, we can change the default controller, Position, Rotation, and Scale, to the Link Constraint and select OK. With our object still selected, we will scrub the animation back to the frame we want to begin our link constraint at, and under the Motions tab, in the Link Params panel, we will select Add Link. If we press H on our keyboard, the Object Selection dialog will allow us to pick our first target, and we can see that at frame 0, our object is attached to the blue cylinder. We scrub through the animation frame, we can see that it follows the blue cylinder throughout the entire animation. To change the target during the animation, we'll scrub forward to the frame that we want to change at, and with the Add Link button still pressed, we will select the H button and select the new target, so that at frame 30, the red cylinder becomes a new target for our link constraint. The first 30 frames, the sphere is attached to the blue cylinder. After that, it's attached to the red. If at any time you want to unlink your object from either parent, simply move the timeline forward to the frame you want to do that at, and select Link to World. After which, the object will not follow either of the cylinders. You can keep adding links as you go along by moving the timeline forward and selecting various objects. And the object that you had your link constraint on will continue to follow them throughout. And that is how you change an object's link constraint during an animation in 3ds Max 2013.